right, we're checking out the only game where the best way to go to prison is to be a poor artist. It's Draw a Story. Draw a Story tells the story of a young man and his journey into the dark side as he fails at art. So this is one of those games where you have to tell the story using your artistic skills, which is then represented in the game. That's not a good idea. Draw a circle and see if I can recognize it. You're gonna wish you hadn't asked for that. So, I mean, does it actually have to be a circle or do I get to do whatever I want? I'm kind of concerned that if I let go, this will end. So I'm actually just going to draw a turkey. Look, it's a, it's a very special turkey, okay? Very special turkey. Here's this little turkey neck. Give him a slightly dinosaurish head. He was very unhappy at the fact that he's a turkey, so I'm gonna give him a frown. He's unhappy because the only two things he does is fly poorly and get eaten. I love turkey breast. So there, give him, there you go. That's a lot of meat. And this turkey understands the proper use of posturpedic wear. So I'm gonna give him a pair of Brooks Beasts. What are Brooks Beasts? If you know, you know. There you go. It's like a turkey mixed with Calvin and Hobbes. Is it a hedgehog? I love that it guesses. Wait, this is the most amazing game I've ever played. Will it guess no matter what I draw? Hold on, now I need to know. There have been so many times where I have drawn a dead body and I wonder what the Skynet level AI will see when I draw this. Here we go. Get some legs here. Draw part of the head missing. She just looks like he has a receding hairline. Oh, whatever. Here's the pool of blood. It's not really a pool of blood. It's just kind of like a pool of sad stick man ink. It's a frog. <laughs> I think it's possibly just doing whatever it wants. All right, here's a circle. You're welcome. Is that an onion? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, okay? Maybe it's onion. Give me a break. It looks like bracelet. How about, um, how about this right there? What is this game? Do you know? Can you tell? How well were you programmed? Is that sword? Okay, all right. Oh, here, how about this? Again, it's hard to draw when I can't take my hand off of anything, but whatever. There is like a, it's money, see? Bam. It looks like garden. This AI is like, I don't know. I've never seen anyone draw this poorly before. I'm not really sure what to make of it. Okay, fine. Here, here's a, oh God, I can't draw a circle. There, the bingo. <laughs> okay, almost perfect. My name's David. It's only 9 a.m. Someone get me a cup of coffee. Hold on. Draw a cup of coffee. Here's a shot of vodka. <laughs> you get the little little drink inside. Ah, correct cup of coffee. Also, I just noticed my name changed to Zach. Oh no, wait, this is showing me the various drawings that people around the world have done. I was gonna say, I don't know how to draw such detail. Did I just pull a slice of pizza out from underneath my hat? Yep, full slice of pizza chilling out underneath the hat. Let's play some Fortnite on my laptop. Fortnite, what is this, 2020? Alrighty, now drawing a laptop, I can definitely do. All right, there we go, there's the screen. Wanna make sure that your browser is open to YouTube. Hey, what the? Did it like put a person with a rifle on there? I wasn't done yet. Christian, stop drawing better than me. All those Fortnite dance moves shook my pants loose. What? What kind of criminal activity am I into over here? Why is Fortnite loosening your pants? <laughs> I better use this paper clip as a belt. <laughs> I mean, he's a steak figure, so that part makes sense. Alrighty. Go ahead and draw a paper clip here. It is the worst paper clip ever. On the end of the paper clip is an eyeball. There we go. And yeet. There it is. Okay, I was gonna say, you know, stop looking at the guy and just leave. Or I've obtained a new color by being a loser. Finally, we've escaped the classroom. This hallway is dirty and can really use a broom. Young Sticulus, that's why they have a janitor. You trying to take a man's job away from him? I'm almost sure that I heard of a death where a man had a door that opened and a broomstick went up his nostril and penetrated his brain. Stop sign? No, no, no. Hold on. Let me draw my broom bristles here. It just basically looks like he's vomiting blood out of his nose. Game bought it. All right, Zach, let's see how good you are at drawing a broom. Okay, yeah, your broom's pretty good. I don't want to get my foot dirty. Wait, I don't have a foot. Wait, if I draw him a foot, he literally gets a foot. <laughs> <laughs> I think that one of the most cursed images you can draw for a person, okay? When like you're drawing their pants or their legs or whatever. Hold on, 
LOL pants. We're getting there. Hold on now, game. Is if you draw their feet as full out hands, my eyes see arm. This game is like. Great, please stop. Correct. Foot. See? <laughs> Woo! I love how it's blue just like I drew it. Look, I have a circulation problem. Okay, what's this say? This foot is too beautiful. I need to protect it so I can start my foot modeling career, but also look casual. Can you draw me a Converse shoe? Converse? Young man, you need something with some art support. May I suggest Brooks Beasts? Draw Converse shoe. Actually, I'm gonna draw the national shoe of Florida. It's a sandal in case you were wondering. There we go, there's a little toe flapper. I'll draw you a shoe hole. Oh, it's a brain. <laughs> I don't know how you got that from this. Hold on, let me, here, I'll draw like ankle support. How about that? Diving board? No, it's a pool. It's not a pool. All right, how about, uh, here, let's put some, let's put some shoelaces on there. Hedgehog. All right, my shoelaces suck, I get it. It's not a hedgehog. Stop always going to hedgehog. All right, how about this, how about this? We're gonna draw the grip on the bottom of the shoe. There, how about that? Why is it always a hedgehog? Okay, look. Here's the hole that you put. It's not a dishwasher. I went from drawing nothing that looks like a shoe to something that actually vaguely looks like a shoe. Give me a break. But like how as time goes on, I just get further and further away from what I'm drawing. This is a legitimate shoe game. It's a shoe. It is not a dishwasher. Stop it. Here, look. Here's an entire leg. Yes, crot, thank you, finally. That's exactly what I drew. I love how well these shoes fit on this stick man. Can a stick man wear a jacket? I mean, I can try. You saw what the game thought about my shoe though. I'm trying to remember what a straight jacket looks like. Oh, hold on, actually, you get a different color here. Your jacket's gonna be purple. All right, now I know there's like a like a neck hole and then the two arms, you know, they, they like tie back this way like this. It's not a necklace. Hold on, let me draw the torso area. My icy hot air balloon. Your eyes are drunk. It is not a hot air balloon. It is a jacket. Here, you want a zipper? I don't think that, I'm not sure if there's zippers on straight jackets, but I mean, I'll make one for the purposes. I think you should try again. You shut your mouth. I can't believe it came down to this. I, it actually is making me do this again. There, here's the worst jacket I could possibly. Are you kidding me? The thing I drew before was like a hot air balloon and you can, you like, you think this is a jacket? It does, it takes the actual color I use. If I wore a jacket, I wouldn't be a stick man anymore. I'm not sure that your argument makes any sense. An iPhone would really be cool. You get a Nokia. What stupid colors do we have? What is this? What is this? I don't know what this is, but I want it. Is that a blackberry? No, it's trying, I'm trying to use these crazy colors here. That's what I want, this one right here. Oh, okay, so I select it like this. Now I can select it. Hot. Oh yeah, this totally makes sense. Hmm. Yeah, there we are. I see skyscraper. And I put the little, little selecty guy down there. There you go, see, we got it. Oh, it's like a stick woman. Look at my freakish colored stick phone. Why did I give it away immediately? <laughs> Call me, babe! <laughs> I will give the game props. I do like the fact that whatever I draw, it actually becomes that color. Thank God for Chloe. I love that my guy is such a baller that he doesn't just give girls his number, he gives them his entire cell phone. Have you seen my lipstick? All right, little stick girl, hold on. I want her lipstick color to be the color of like macaroni and cheese. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's start with a base of black for the outline like this. All right, see that's just the beginning. And the lipstick here is gonna be our delicious mac and cheese color like this. Kinda looks like an ice cream sundae made out of melted Velveeta. Here we go. This does not look like lipstick at all. You better like this. Nail. It's not a nail! Do I need to draw like the cap on the lipstick? Are you annoyed because it's not red? How about purple? How about this? Looks like nail. It's an eraser. What? Come on, that's gotta be it. Yeah, got it! How did you do that? Can you make me a sweater too? You're gonna regret asking me for anything. Draw a sweater. I'm gonna draw you a, my, a motorcycle. Oh, I see a motorbike. It actually sees it. All right. And now, in typical gray still plays fashion, here's a motorbike running over a human being. And what does that turn to? Animal migration. <laughs> It's not even like an actual thing. It's more of like, you know, an act. 
animal migration. Yes, the wild motorcycle is migrating over the human being's skull. This needs to be on the History Channel. Okay, uh, let's see here. What do we got? I don't know what eye cancer this is, but that's what your sweater's gonna be. You know it's good when you're wearing a top that looks like it's made out of Christmas wrapping paper. I gotta fill it in a little bit. I wanna make sure that the game uses this. Kinda looks like someone is just peeing all over a t-shirt, but whatever. I think it's camouflage. It's not camouflage. It is a sweater. It is a poor sweater, but it is a sweater nonetheless. Here, I'll draw an outline. How about that? There. I think you should try again. I think you should stop giving me that lip. So, sweater outline first. There, okay? There's the sweater outline. Correct, sweater. No, I want it. I want color in it here. Don't, don't do it yet. We need to make sure this is colored. I love that once it's a sweater, and no matter what, it's a sweater. Like, I don't think I can screw this up now. Can I put a bunch of blood on the sweater? Do I have blood? I don't have like a red yet. <laughs> Whatever, stick figures bleed blue now. Here we go, a couple of blotches. All right, perfect. Send it. Oh, that is hot. Can you make me a hair bow? <laughs> All right, hold on. Oh, yes, here we go. Now for your hair bow, I'm gonna do one of these right here. Okay. And we're gonna draw that. <laughs> it looks like shovel. Now you put the uh, stick man head in here. I love how it's like, could it be a chandelier? It is a hanging stick man. It is not a chandelier. All right, here's your bow. Your what? Binoculars. All right, I got the hair bow. It took a little effort. You're such a nice guy. Can you make me a bracelet too? Have you ever seen the movie Deathlock? They had necklaces in that movie. See what you do is you draw yourself your bracelet here. I see potato. <laughs> you draw yourself your bracelet here. You know, I'll give you a nice diamond on it since apparently that's a diamond. Peas! I see asparagus. <laughs> I love how the game is just coming up with whatever it wants now. It's like, is that an albatross? I think it's a jackal. No, it's none of those, th it's not a carrot. Why are you so hungry? It has nothing to do with food. All right, just, this is not working. Okay, let me start with something else. All right, so here, look, bracelet. Here, I'm gonna draw some pearls on it. Correct, bracelet. Well, hold on, we're not done yet. All right, now in Deathlock, you had your necklace. But at the end of it, you also had a gigantic piece of C4. So that when you fail me, you blow up. That had to be a really big piece of C4 because it's on her wrist. If I want to blow up her entire stick body, we at least need something, you know, the size of a, a slice of bread or so. I better get out of here before she asks for a house. This vending machine doesn't have any snacks. Can you draw a banana? Why is there like an SOS bottle inside of the vending machine? Also, why is there just like a random puddle of urine on the ground. All right, that was the fastest relationship I think I've ever had. It's true though, she just asked for more and more stuff when she found out that my superpower is drawing things poorly and having them come to life. All right, we're drawing a gun that happens to be a banana. All right, there's the grip, there's the trigger, and there's the banana. It looks like dog. Is that horse? No. No, it is not. It is not a drill either. I can't believe I had to go all the way back to the beginning. Looks like stitches. I never thought I would have so much trouble drawing a banana. Yum, yum, yum. Littering. Now to kill another human being. And whoop. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Welcome to Karma. <laughs> what happened? It looks like a tornado came through here. Draw a tornado. Finally! Oh my god, I cannot believe it has taken me this long to finally get to draw the apocalypse. Oh yeah. Oh, this is, this is hot. Here we go, this is just the beginning. All right, there's the initial that is not a diamond. Now, of course, you need, you know, a random human being kind of flying throughout the tornado here. Here's a car, screaming mouth. Correct, tornado, it took it, yeah! <laughs> now come on, look at Peter's tornado compared to my tornado. And just like you would imagine, the tornado destroys all of humanity and crashes my computer. <laughs> anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Draw Story. Welcome to Armageddon. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.